from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Good morning, Braves. I'm Kenya Kennedy. And I'm Frank Cassidy. Frank, why are you wearing that poncho? Come on, Kenya, seriously? How do you think we're winning these football games? You know, Reed, I love you, man, but it's not your throws, it's not even Dawson's catches. It's the poncho. All right, Frank, how about you just stick to the news? Last Friday night, the Dogmen team literally blew away their opponents, Waynesville, with a score of 67 to, wait for it, zero. Let's check out some highlights from the game in the HTN Play of the Week. I've been in the kitchen, whipping, whipping. I've been chefing, mix it with my left hand. Water whipping and I'm stirring. Y'all want beef and I'm a serving. Water whipping and I'm stirring. Y'all want beef. So, Zarian, uh, what's your go to touchdown dance? Uh, gotta hit them folks for the boys. True. Can I? Can we get a demonstration? Y'all want beef and I'm a serving. Y'all want beef and I'm a you can catch me at the stove. I was whipping up a bowl. I just came back from the stove. Five star restaurant at home. I just dumped out that whole packet. Add the powder, let it simmer. All right, Colts dropping back, looking to the far side of the field and deep into the end zone, intercepted, no, a touchdown! This Friday, the boys take on Roger Bacon, but there is a change in location. The game will be taking place at St. Xavier's football field, not at Roger Bacon. IHTN will not be televising the away games, but they will be streaming all of the home games live on IHTN One's YouTube channel with exclusive interviews, replays, and commentary. Be sure to check it out. Attention seniors, on September 16th, we will be hosting Special Persons Day from 8.30 to 11.30, so be sure you ask that special person in your life to attend before it's too late. You will enjoy a full morning with your special person, including some delicious food, along with performances from our school's finest music ensembles. Kicking Hunger has just begun. We need your support for our local food kitchen in Luke Lundberg as he kicks field goals and extra points to raise money. With your pledge, every field goal Luke kicks will send money to the City Gospel Soup Kitchen. So sign up today. Contact Mr. Witt for more information. This is the first week for our new principal, Miss Bear. Let's send it over to Cam Piles, who has the exclusive interview. Hi, I'm here with new principal, Mrs. Bear. What are you looking forward to most this year at Indian Hill? Well, Indian Hill has an excellent reputation for um, education and so I'm getting I'm looking forward to getting to know the community the students um, the staff most of the schools that I've worked in have been larger schools and so being in a smaller school setting will be probably the most different I'm really looking forward to um, getting to know the students and I would say to uh, anybody who's watching Braves Beat to um, walk up and introduce themselves to me so that I get to know who they are Thanks, Cam. We're very excited to see her as our new principal. Everyone make sure to give her a friendly hello if you see her in the hallway. We know you're looking forward to this year's homecoming. The dance is Sadie Hawkins, meaning Girls Ask Guys. The theme is across the universe, so wear your astronaut suit. No, don't wear your astronaut suit. We look forward to seeing everyone there on October 1st. Let's check in with the DECA squad as they introduce us to their new recycling program. I bet you've been wondering uh, what the new trash cans are at our high school. Uh, well, Ryan and I here are running the new recycle program at Indian Hill High School and Middle School and Primary School for internship in Mrs. Schoenauer's class, marketing. Uh, over here we got the uh, garbage. We don't compost because uh, yeah. the recycling is anything recyclable. Let's all get behind this program and use those recycle bins in the cafeteria. Also, be sure to follow IH Spirit Club on Twitter where they post up-to-date information on school activities. Remember, stay loud and stay proud, Braves. We all love the amazing teachers at this school, but one has always somehow stood out. Let's throw it over to our favorite AP Biology teacher, Mr. Brockstroman. We're here with Mr. Brockstroman this week for our teacher feature, and we just want to ask you a few questions. Is that all right? That's fine with me. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Brockstroman, how long have you been here at Indian Hill High School? It's my fourth year at Indian Hill High School. What do you love most about our school community? 
I think that it's this nice, small, tight-knit community, and it's like it feels like a family here. And now down to the serious questions. If you were stranded on an island, okay. which three of your coworkers would you take with you, and why? All right, well, first, let me think. First would be uh, Mr. Debink, because he's wicked smart, for sure. Um, after that, it probably doesn't matter, but uh, we'll take Mrs. Campbell. She's wicked nice. We'll take her, and last but not least, we'll take Mr. Swope, because he's wicked strong. Those are my three. What music did you listen to on your way to school this morning? Uh, Guns N' Roses. Okay, what music did you really listen to on your way to school this morning? Okay, uh, Kids Bop. I like it. I love it. Not gonna lie. I like that. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Kenya, before we wrap this up, I have some troubling news. I can't make the game tomorrow. No me, no Poncho. But don't worry, Indian Hill. My man, Cam Piles, will be taking over for the evening. Sounds good to me. And remember, Indian Hill, if you're coming out to the game tonight, bring your brave spirit with you. And remember to like our Brave Speed Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. My name is Tai Chi McTai. Arms to the sky. Oh, let it pass. How beautiful. Now, we are going to catch the rain, spread the arms, drop the rain, because that's stupid. Why would you catch rain in the first place? Take your other foot and put it at center. Congratulations, you are now centered. We are now a tree. Now, no matter what pants you are wearing, I'm wearing skinny jeans, this hurts. What I want you to do is go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.